Hello everyone, I'm Mike Sazamia, your local real estate specialist here in Windsor, Connecticut. I work with William Ravis Real Estate and I'm joined here today by Eric McPhee. Uh, Eric is a loan officer, NMLS number 1583789 with Norcom Mortgage. And today we're going to talk to you guys a little bit about FHA loans. Uh, we both work with a lot of first time home buyers and you know, oftentimes an FHA loan is a great option for them. Uh, so kind of kick it off, you know, for someone who doesn't know, Eric, you know, what is an FHA loan? It's a good question, and a lot of people don't. Um, FHA stands for Federal Housing Administration, and federal being the key word, what it means is it's, a, it's basically a government loan. Um, and, and it was introduced back in 1934. Uh, it's been around for a long time. And now, the good thing with government loans is when lenders like ourselves are lending money, FHA loans, to first-time home buyers we are able to give it at a lower interest rate. And that's because it's federally insured. So if there happens to be a default later on in the future, the lender is at less risk of losing their investment. Yeah, okay. Awesome, awesome. And you know, a potential buyer, you know, if they're looking at their credit score and thinking about what kind of range they need uh, mm -hmm. for one of these loans, you know, what typically do you guys see or lo look to see uh, for a credit score for qualification? Yeah, and, and that's another good point, Mike, is that FHA loans have a, range, a credit score range which is uh, a little bit larger than most of your other loans. Um, typically, you'll see uh, a lot of banks out there in the 600s. Norcom actually goes down to 580. Um, the magic number really to get your best interest rates and terms and conditions is uh, 660 or so. so. But we do offer loans under 660. There will be overlays on those loans, and an overlay just means that you're going to have to come to the table with something else, uh, whether it's more of a down payment if your credit score is in a certain range, okay. um, or you know, adding a cosigner, adding down payment with a cosigner, that type of thing. Okay, excellent, excellent. And then what about like job history? Let's you know, just hypothetically, you know, if I just get out of nursing school um, and I'm you know get a job at St. Francis, let's say, and I'm looking to purchase a property, you know. And, West Hartford yeah. or you know one of the surrounding towns here you know is that is that feasible with, with an FHA loan? Or? Totally a common thing to happen out there especially with students graduating now when the student uh, goes through all these years of training uh, and then they immediately get in the workforce and they're making decent money to get a uh, home loan they often don't have the work history which many lenders require which is typically two years mm -hmm. so uh, yes they do have the option they can at times use that school training to be considered as part of their work history. Um, so when they've done those four years of nursing school and come out and are making a decent salary, they've kind of covered that two year range with their training. Okay, that's great. That's good to know. Awesome. And then in terms, I mean, you've touched on a few of these, but what would you say, you know, the, maybe the main two or three advantages of, of the FHA loan? Yeah, the, the biggest advantage of FHA is uh, the interest rate. Uh, the interest rates are very low compared to conventional um, and then obviously the wide-ranging credit score where where people can qualify and they typically couldn't qualify with a with another bank or or lender okay great. and then naturally you know what would you say are some of the disadvantages I don't want to tell any disadvantages but <laughs> of course there are disadvantages to loan programs yeah. um, the you know there's two two things that happen with an FHA loan that people don't often know about one of them is an upfront mortgage insurance premium. And just as an example, um, they charge 1.75% of your loan amount upfront. Now what that means is if you had a $100,000 loan on a home, $1,750 is gonna be added to that upfront. So your loan will be $1,750 higher than a different type of loan. Mm -hmm. And the other part it hits you is on the back end when you're making payments to uh, your lender. So they're gonna charge you a monthly mortgage rate or insurance each month throughout that life of the loan. And that's the other big disadvantage is it goes through the life of the loan on an FHA, whereas a conventional, there's a point in time where you could possibly get rid of that mortgage oh. insurance. Okay, and the, so the mortgage insurance, they can, you know, if the house appreciates in value mm -hmm. or, you know, they make updates to the home and, you know, the rates are favorable, interest mm -hmm. rates are favorable, they can always refinance and kind of get rid of that mortgage insurance, right? Absolutely, they can refinance. Um, you know, as time goes by, you're obviously paying your principal down. Mm -hmm. So the more time that goes by, you're going to have more equity in your home. Uh, the other thing is house, uh, houses can appreciate. 
So as long as you have an appraisal at a certain value, mm -hmm. um, you can refinance into a conventional loan and, and try to get rid of that PMI. And the magic number is 80%. So you want the value of your home to be, and the loan on the home, you want the loan to be 80% of that value. You want a 20% gap before you can get rid of that monthly mortgage insurance premium. Okay, awesome, awesome. And then, you know, I know the rates vary, obviously, you know, based on, you know, down payment, credit, credit score and all that stuff. But ballpark, you know, what are the kind of the current interest rates for these FHA loans that you guys are offering? Yeah, and it changes every day. You got to disclaim that it's, it's a moving target. So typically what I've been seeing in the past year or so are people with good credit and down payments at rates of mid threes, which is pr really competitive. Yeah. Um, up to those who don't have the, the perfect, you know, everything showing. And I'm typically seeing, seeing them in low fours or so. Okay, great. And that can move. You know, that's, that's really a lot of great information, Eric. I really appreciate it. Um, if someone had some questions or, yeah. you know, wanted to kind of, you know, maybe they want to buy a house and they want to see sure. if they qualify. Sure. You know, uh, what, you know, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you? Uh, best way is my cell phone. It's always on. I'm 24-7 on, which is 860-874-4724. Uh, the other nice thing that we have is I have a website where you can actually go online and apply on your own, and it would email me your information, and we can work through it that way. Uh, but my email address is uh, my name. That's Eric McFeet, E-R-I-C-M-C-P-H-E-A-T, dot Norcom Mortgage. Dot com. Okay, great. And then in terms of um, like when a potential buyer or someone who's thinking about buying a house, when they should contact you in the process, yeah. you know, it, it should be something they do early on, right? The, yeah. And you know, I think a lot of people do it backwards. Yeah. Myself included, when I went through the process, I completely did it backwards. I said, um, all right, I'm ready to buy a house, call my realtor and we go, look, what you really should do is you need to contact someone who's going to say, here's how much you can afford. And then you have a game plan going out into the market. You know what your payments can be. You know which houses you can put offers on. So, you know, the best time frame in my experience doing this is if, if you're with a loan officer two months in advance of actually going out there and making offers, number one, I can educate you on what to expect. Um, we can get all the paperwork in order that you would need and you can really go into the process making confident offers on homes. Yeah, absolutely. We always love working with pre-qualified or yeah. pre-approved buyers. That's that's for sure. And like you said, it they have the roadmap. They know what they should be focused on, what price range they need to be in. And exactly. Find something that fits their criteria based on that. That's great. Um, so that's it for today, everybody. Um, you know, check back with us as each month we're going to be looking to provide you guys with, you know, valuable information on the home buying and home selling process. Um, you know, as we look to be your resource for everything home. Thanks. Thank you.